Hey people, in this episode we are showing you a quick tip for Ableton that allows you to switch out a drum uh, or multiple drums in a sequence on your arrange page. So we have a break and we have some individual hats that are just programmed in in a very simple pattern. Now I'm going to play you the break and the hats. There we are. So the break comes from Flatpak's um, sample pack currently on the platform and the hats come from Chew Dog's drum pack. So we have the hats in there in this sample. Now to change these, if you didn't feel that they sit right in the mix, um, you would have to obviously delete them and then reprogram them. So there is a simple way to, to change this. So before I do that, I'm just gonna solo the hats. There we are. Now, clicking on the sample, you see hat turn up here. So if you click on that, it shows you where it is in your sample library. Right clicking gives you these three options. Now, if you go to manage sample file, it will open this section up on the right hand side and also show you that hat one is situated there. So let's just pick a hat at random. So let's say we want to switch it out for this. You drag it over to the right hand side and you pop it in where the two hours are. And now let's solo the clip. It's changed all of the samples at once in a matter of seconds. So let's play the whole break together and see what the difference is. You can tell straight away that the characteristics of this shaker hat um, gives a complete different swing, a complete different shuffle and a complete different feel to the break. But it's a really, really easy way to go through and sample different sounds in the break to see where they sit alongside it and potentially in the mix as well. So if you were to look at this on a bigger scale with 20, 30, 40 channels, and you've got multiple samples in there that as the production goes along, you feel don't quite sit and you don't really like the sound of it, but it's a big task to go out and remove them. This is the best way to overcome that, get around it and experiment putting in some new samples. And it could just be that spur of the moment change that completely changes the dynamic of the track um, and the direction that it may go in. But for us, this is a really, really good tool uh, for experimenting with new sounds. Um, we hope you enjoyed this episode and it inspires you to get creative.